everyone, it's Emma. Today I'm talking about some things that I would like to do in my life. Uh, a couple days ago I put up a 20 things I have learned in 20 years video. This is basically the opposite. It's things that I want to do in my life. Some are small, some are big, all are important to me in some way. As I am now an adult, I've been thinking more about the future. <laughs> I decided to make this little list of some things, kind of like a bucket list if you will. Although to be honest, I would much rather just experience my life as it comes then like check things off of bucket list but i thought i would make this video regardless because there are some things that i would enjoy doing in my life the first one is i would like to go ice skating on a natural pond outside on a natural pond ice skating i don't know why it's always been a dream of mine maybe it's because i loved the movie ice princess when i was a kid it just seems like a really fun thing to do write a book publish a book. Whether it be poetry or a novel, I would like to at some point in my life have something published. Find the perfect skincare routine for myself. <laughs> this might seem like a joke, but honestly, I'm always improving my skincare routine. I'm always trying new products. It's something that is a form of self-care for me, so it just feels like it would be like an ultimate life achievement to have the perfect personalized skincare routine. <laughs> Learn fluent sign language. I mentioned this in a video, I think it was 25 facts about me, but I've always wanted to be fluent in sign language. I learned a little bit when I was younger. I've always kind of remembered what I learned, but I've never taken a full class and I've never practiced enough that I would be fluent in it. It's always been like the language that I would most want to learn first. Pick flowers and braid them into a crown to wear on my head. Read my poetry live and out loud with an audience. Eat a soft pretzel again without having some kind of allergic reaction because I can't eat gluten and I can't eat dairy. So there aren't really soft pretzel options that I've found, but I miss them. I love them. I want a soft pretzel. <laughs> have adventures that are terrifying and incredible. Honestly, I've already done this one, but I would like to do some more again and again until they're less terrifying and just more incredible. Wear a dress that makes me feel magical and pretty. I've done this before. I've done it a couple times, but again, again. <laughs> Have my channel reach 100,000 subscribers. At the moment, this seems like a huge goal, but if it didn't happen, if for some reason I stopped making videos, or if it did happen and then I got way more than 100,000 subscribers, that would be fine too. At the moment, at the current trajectory that I'm at, 100,000 seems like a really good goal that I would love to meet at some point. Find, receive, and give more love than I already have. See my brothers happy, healthy, and really, really in love with the most amazing people on the planet. This is a totally selfish one, but I love my brothers so much that to me, if they don't end up with like the most amazing people on the planet, then I don't know what the point is, just putting that out there. <laughs> Live in a creatively cultured place. I did this before because I lived in New York City for a while, but I was a lot younger, so I've never really lived somewhere that I fit in creatively. Where I grew up is pretty small, it's not a very like forward-thinking place, so my brothers and I and my whole family really kind of always stood out, but it's always been a dream of mine to like find like-minded people and live in a place that values the arts. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's always been a dream of mine. I'd like to learn to pour my experiences into my art, whether it's writing, poetry, or creating videos or whatever, in a way that is encouraging to others, and I would like to be able to do that in a way that's like people can see it and relate and feel encouraged. It's a real big thing to learn, but I would love to do that at some point in my life. Write a song. Have a giant fluffy dog. I always thought that if someday I live alone in an apartment and I'm single that I would have this like giant fluffy dog, preferably like a white dog, like what's that Pekingese mountain dog or that kind of dog, that is just huge and fluffy and would be like my best friend. Go to every Taylor Swift concert for the foreseeable future. I don't mean like every concert, I mean a concert on every tour for the foreseeable future because this tour is going to be my third time seeing Taylor Swift and every time I've gone with my cousin and it's just become like a tradition. I would love to go to Japan and travel in general. I love traveling, I love experiencing different cities, different places, but I've actually never been outside of the US. Especially if I go to Japan, I would really like for it to be a month or a longer visit so I can kind of see what it's really like there. 
have a good old-fashioned bangin' New Year's Eve party. Like, I would love to just have an all-out crazy New Year's Eve party once in my life. We always did Christmas Eve parties in my family. I would like for it to happen once. Have a good old-fashioned huge crazy New Year's Eve party. <laughs> Those are all the things that I wrote down as far as my little bucket list, but I'm sure that there will be endless things that I would like to do in my life. I'm a dreamer and I have lots of dreams, so all the time I'm thinking like, wow, it would be really cool to do this. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It didn't feel like a very structured video, but it was just kind of a chitty chatty kind of video. I hope you have a lovely day or night or afternoon wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video.